Good day everyone and welcome to a new series called Need Building where I will show you the whole process of me building stuff and I decided to make this series because firstly currently my upload schedule is completely horrific sometimes I upload twice a week sometimes I go two weeks without an upload so I think simpler easier videos like these could make it better for me to upload and just way easier which means more uploads which means you get a lot more content and these videos will be easier in that there will be less editing there will be less of all of that fancy stuff which also leaves more space for me to really talk about how i build and what i do and show you the whole process and bring you with me and now that i've explained what we are going to be doing in this series what are we going to be doing this episode what are we going to be building and well i have been invited to participate in a collaboration by a friend from the stormworks community and this collaboration will be and in this collaboration we are going to be building a car ferry and I'm going to be making the hull and superstructure and systems and engines and he is going to be doing the interior because he is quite good at it. You may know him from ships like the currently work in progress MS MyStar which is a real life ferry and it looks absolutely wonderful in the images he has provided on the Sunworks Discord and so we should start the right now. So I think it would be a good idea to keep this video below an hour. Which means that today I think it would be cool if we did the haul. Now I'm aiming for around something between 80 and 90 meters. I think I'm gonna go for the 80 meters in length which is quite a lot and I think it will prepare me quite well for my new big ship that I've been planning for a long time really. Now for the length to width ratio on this I think I'm gonna go with something like 1 to 6.5 that should be fine so that will give us something like 13 meters in width so let's do 7.5 here and that should give us 13.25 no that gave us 15.25 because i can't do maths this is better now it may look extremely thin here but when you actually add the superstructure and all that it will be way better now we also need to know how deep we want to go with this and usually i plan my ships but with this one it was so abrupt that i couldn't really plan anything so i think it would be good if we went for 20 blocks maybe 19 well that's also a one so 20 blocks for the hole that's above the water line and maybe 12 to 14 blocks beneath the water line let's keep it at 14 because i want to try out some deeper drafts now that might be a few too many so let's keep it at 12 here a good rule of thumb with this is to see if it looks good when you fill it in and I think that looks fine now with that I think it might be a good idea to go over to the bow and start planning it out more here and I think I'm going to be going for something between sharp and stubby here up here and something around quite sharp down here which will mean that the angle here will be way different than the angle here which is quite 
quite difficult when building house. But I'm sure we'll get through it. I mean, I've done this quite a lot of times. Let's start off with 2x1 wedges and go on to 1x1 one one wedges. I think this should be enough. And maybe we could technically add one more 1x2 one wedge there, but I don't know. Let's first try and see. And that looks like it may be a bit too stubby. Which is great because I think I will remove this area. Yeah, that's a bit too much. So let's remove this and change it to 1x2s. It has been switched and I added the 1x4s there. And this already looks way better. I think we also might want to do a bit of this technique for even more sharpening of the bow and this is a very small detail but it does a lot I also wanna try out mods at some point because I'm pretty sure mods have things like 1x8 wedges those are nice but yeah I think this is fine this is great Although a bit too sharp maybe for what I'm going for. So maybe let's move this area more forward and add a bit more of these 1x2s or like replace these with the 1x2s. Far could be fine. And replaced. And this should give us a better thing, but we'll see. I'm just gonna connect this up really quickly. Yeah, that looks better. I think that looks nice. Now we can either start mapping out the lower part of the bow and the side profile of it, or we can move on to the stern. But I think, um, gonna stick with the bow for some time. Now these ships from my knowledge usually have a slope ratio of 1 by 2 here and then it goes into a bulbous bow which is gonna be something because I haven't built these for a long time but this should be fine. Now Let's measure the draft. We wanted it to be 12 blocks. So let's make a rough line right here and see where it leads us. Yeah, so these will be gone. And that's when we can start the build. Maybe even earlier with 1 by 4s. that will smoothen it a bit more and then we will go into a one by one block normal one maybe do wedges like this but this is more into a teardrop shaped bow which we don't want so something like this could be fine Let's maybe use some one by ones here to smoothen it out. Or we can also do this, which may make it look a bit better. And then do this. That's better, I feel like. And I missed it by one. This, this should be fine. So if we bring this in. Yeah, I think that's a good start for a Bilbo Spow. It may be a bit low though. So I could 
move something up here. So maybe move it by one block there, which removes that one block here. But I don't care much about that. Yeah, and now we can either keep it sharp like this or use a one by two. Let's see. Yeah, let's use that one by two. That doesn't r look very good. And one by ones. I know it isn't really necessary to use the other wedges in this in this more like inside part, but I will just use them to make it a bit less confusing for me when I look at it from the distance. And that looks really nice, I feel like. Now let's again draw that line for where we want the draft to be and really see if that's good. And I think we might be going a bit low with the bow here. The bulb might be a bit low, so I think we could fit a bigger bulb, which means complete redoing of this whole thing. This is what happens with holes all the time. It's really a thing about patience and all that stuff. So let's remove it and start off again with a one by one wedge. Maybe I'll leave it as that. Or add a block here to just make the transition more smooth now that we have a lot of space. Use that. Do that. And do this. And now we can go like this or we can go like that. I think this could be better, but I don't know if if this will look good. I think that should be fine. Generally, let's put a 1x4 here. Yeah, that should be fine. Just this thing bugs me and that's not much of a problem because I can just fix it like this. That's great. Looks nice. Now I think the next logical step would be to move on to the stern, but I don't know about that. But I think, yeah, let's move on to the stern. Now, I have no clue what the sterns of these kinds of ships look like. I am familiar with the sterns of more cruise ferry sh ships, but I have no clue how the sterns of these ships look like, because these are more rowback, seem more like... A cruise ferry is something more luxurious something you're gonna remember whereas a ropax trip is going to be something like a trip on the bus just a tad bit more expensive and so these are kind of less less glamour and all that less glory they're just meant to serve a purpose so i have no clue what their sterns look like so i'm going to Make a quick search on the internet and see. So I found it. I found a picture of the ship's stern. And actually I haven't told you, I think, what we are mainly basing this build on. And what it's going to be based on is the ferry MS Finfellow, which is a Finlines ship. And 
I'm going to put up a picture of it on screen right now, if I don't forget. And so that's gonna be interesting, I haven't really built many of these before, then again I haven't built many 80 plus meter ships, so it's gonna be something. Now what the ship's turn looks like is it's kind of a box with uh, what would you call it, a lip here and then there's a ramp here and there are two decks on the ship or two decks for cars and yeah I think we can do some of this, maybe just make this a bit smaller it doesn't matter, we can change it later but I wanna get a rough estimate of how it will be just now. Now also we might want to remove this and this is giving me perspective into just how big this is going to be which is good but also bad because we won't be able to spawn it in workbench very soon possibly even this episode and that's that's gonna be quite annoying. I don't like when you can't spawn in workbenches, but I guess that's what the data limit is. It's annoying. Now because we're currently doing a fairly mundane task, I'm going to tell you a story. The story of my first ship, which is actually not my first ship. My first ship was like 40 meters long but I never really got around to finishing it and it had severe stability problems which a lot of my ships tend to have even now which is quite annoying but I mean the last ship that really was known for having stability issues was Condemning which was that frigate thing or actually Corvette I sometimes get my naming is messed up especially of warships because those are quite unusual for me I don't build them much but back to the story my first ship as I counted was not that one that actual first ship but I count my second ship as my first ship because I decided to make the mistake of jumping to a 100 meter vessel right from my first ship. Which was in fact a gigantic mistake and if I was a new player now I wouldn't do it again but I didn't know better I guess and I didn't know what the data limit was and I basically erased my whole ship. I did not save in increments which reminds me of saving and we decided on calling this ship the soon link. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right and because it's going to be a Sawyer link ship and we already had the Holt link and so I think the naming fits and soon means sound we're naming it after a place in Sawyer Isles and I'm going to work on the bow now and there is a place called White Sound which fits nicely because White Sound was a person or is a person in the community and so I decided to build a big ship and that was a that was a terrible idea as I already said and it went over the data limit and I saved it in that shape where it was just broken with no logic no unmerged parts none of that and I lost most of the ship and so that was terrible and I basically lost the ship and that's where my basically thing with the data limit started 
because I think I'm pretty good at understanding what it is now but over my 3500 hours I first thought it was some kind of a block limit then I thought it was the mass limit then I thought it was something else and I eventually came to the realization it was the data limit but I think I misled a lot of people along the way which I'm quite ashamed of but that's my little story of my first ship and other people have way better stories with their first ships like their first ships actually working but yeah that's quite sad I might actually rebuild that ship someday because I still have the save for it now going back on track I've started the bow here and the slope that should be here which you can see that is gonna be way sharper and I'm generally pretty happy with that I'm going to be going for something similar to what we did with the hull for the old tanker in career which was something in between of really a boxy hole where this area would have the same steepness as this area and something between a speedboat hole where this would be really sharp but this would also be sharp so it doesn't matter now let's get into actually filling it in which that's gonna be a bit more difficult but we'll get there these things when you know how to do them they are mostly just a mundane task that takes a lot of time so let's let's start off with here and slowly make our way up there and then go and work on that bulbous bow that's gonna be a bit more difficult and also an actual difficult thing about this is making it way sharper at the waterline than what it is here and a lot of ships just have it like that and uh, yeah ferries do also so let's make it sharper here and try and link it up there and then see what we can do that's almost perfect great I think I'm going to start off by making it sharp here and less sharp in the middle and sharp at the end that should generally do it now some one by ones or one by twos actually my maths is really bad today if that's even a maths issue that's a general skill issue yeah I do have a lot of skill issues but that should link up or not that's a bit off that's a tiny bit off that's sometimes annoying but I think if we move this back by one and add just one more one by two then we should be fine so let's do it again and I would be so happy if we had one by three wedges like I don't see the reason for why there aren't one by three wedges and it's really annoying and a lot of mods have them and I've been thinking about building something with mods but just really can't get around to it because firstly I have like 28 projects at all time and secondly because not many people like mods but I do but I don't know 
so that's that now I think let's change this into a pyramid or an inverse pyramid so we'll need a bit more of the one by twos there and yeah this gets annoying when you have to remove stuff like that but that's just sometimes storm works and link this up with some one by twos let's see if that works that should work or will it though let's see think this good ah it's one it's two off so maybe do this no that moves it forward so more of these actually one two here yeah that should do it now yes that's perfect so and then connect it up with these that's sometimes the more difficult part but it should be quite easy because one thing that is important for beginners is for them to really check out all of the different pyramids and all of that stuff you have here because you really need to know what you're working with to actually make good things and I apparently seem to not know what I'm working with and I seem to have forgotten that one by one pyramids exist and connect all this that should be fine yeah that should be nice now we will fill in this upper area and then we'll move on onto the builders bow and this is going to be a lot of filling in and I've already been recording for 30 minutes which means that we will do a time lapse here so enjoy the time lapse of me filling in this stuff here and that's done and you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of an fj1 ship for some reason it just reminds me of that and it looks great i think i think i did a good job on this now onto the more painful part which is the bulbous bow that's gonna be difficult now first I want to do this and actually map out how the bulb will look from up and the bulb will have to be quite sharp to actually make it all the way there because that is already sharp so let's just do this and see where this leads us and see we have a problem because yeah 
that is a big problem. So we'll have to go back and firstly that's a giant bulb, we don't want that. So let's do it like this. Now some 1x2s and then some 1x4s and then some 1x8s which we don't have so we will have to leave 4 block gaps in between all that. And I feel like that's still quite a big of a bulb there. So let's maybe remove the one by one, one one by one there. And replace it with a one by two. And now with one by fours. That should be good. And then we need to split all these up and kind of make it better just yeah so from up that looks fine but I don't know we might want to do it so that it goes sharp here then it kind of goes in that direction and then it goes really sharp there too again something like what we did with this so that's gonna be difficult. These holes are incredibly hard to build. And I could just do it by having a bulb and then putting a flat wall here and continuing all this just as it is now. But that's not really what I do. I want to always connect these smoothly with the rest and that takes a ton of time so yeah this is going to take even more time than usual because it's even better than usual yeah and this is painful but I somehow for some reason I actually enjoy all of this pain with holes I enjoy hulls the most out of shipbuilding and I enjoy things like systems the least because they're annoying for me. But yeah, this is fun. I love pain. Now actually let's let's connect that. And that's still not enough. So let's make it a bit sharper here. Or is it actually? Because we will have this here. Let's see. Let's connect it up. Connect this up. And bring this over. And one little problem with this is we will need to make it somehow into pyramids somewhere somewhere along the way so let's just for now let's just make it into pyramids here and then we'll see if this fits or not oh oh right one more little gap here and it should be fine now or at least I hope so yep that's good nice now that is still quite a big bulb I don't know if it will be as bad as it is now when we fill it in because from this angle it doesn't look very good but then again that's a bad angle and it's not filled in so let's just move on and work a bit more on this so this is again mostly just filling stuff in so I'm going to start a time lapse because 
I do not have much to say about filling stuff in except for let's put two and or three blocks here and let's put some more there and all that so I wouldn't say that's the most enjoyable content. So let's make a time lapse again and you will see my hours being wasted while only minutes of your time are being wasted. Am I getting too deep into this? Yes, I am. Let's start a time lapse. Alright, so this looks terrible. This is really bad. So let's actually make this thinner and let's start the really sharp part way sooner, like about here. And yeah, that's sad that I have to redo all of this. So let's delete all this. And yeah, let's do that because this just doesn't look good. And holes are a ton of redoing all the time, you just need to redo stuff. This is what makes them quite annoying to build sometimes. But I've heard and actually I've experienced that it's quite a bit worse with planes as far as the redoing of stuff goes because especially with making noses for the planes that has to be one of the more painful things in Stormworks that you sometimes need to redo it like 20 times before it looks some way good before it doesn't look absolutely terrible, although I'm pretty sure I more experienced people can get it way quicker than I can. And actually I'm planning on building a plane for the Space DLC. don't know if I've said this, but I'm planning on building a trijet because I absolutely love the Lockheed L-1011, the TriStar. It was an amazing plane, I've never flown on it, and I'll probably never fly on it, but it's a great plane. It was really ahead of its time. But that's a small rant about aviation. And let's get back into the time lapse and back into pain. And building bows. Yay. I enjoy this. And we're done with the bulb. And I think it came out really good. It's it's good, I'd say. It's smooth. It transitions really well into this. And yeah, it's nice. I'd say that went good. Now, one thing I like to do with the bows is to 
do this and slowly kind of pull this back and see just how smooth it is from a forward point of view and yeah you, you can see here that it goes really smoothly that's great but yeah I'll, I'll like this this is good now stern and sterns are usually way easier we will need a time lapse for this though because sterns are repetitive very repetitive i enjoy building bows more even though they're incredibly painful now let's remove all this and maybe just quickly add something here because i want this to be able to float when we spawn it if we spawn it today we'll see and yeah just fill all this in that's great now the stern these sterns are quite difficult because they're quite boxy and they're difficult to convert into something as smooth as the bow is so that's gonna be something definitely let's just make this a bit longer to make it even with this now what do we do here i think we could start the slope all the way up here in this area and move it back and make it smooth because we can easily for example convert this 4x4 into a 1x4 which is extremely steep but still doesn't do much because we want it to be even smoother that's a problem with really round bot bottoms on ships because it sometimes is difficult to do the turns so what about we make it even steeper and start it even earlier that could be possible maybe transition into one by two and now one by ones and lead them all the way down here like this which will make it do this which is still not good and we can see that the goal with this is to make the distance between this point and this point as long as possible without actually making it too long and that's sometimes difficult what we might want to do is if that's possible because i haven't really done this many times but we might want to make this a bit less smooth and round because firstly ships aren't like that and secondly it would make my job way much easier I think that's possible yeah that should be easy yes and that's great which means we have to delete all this house can be a pain but they can be fun it's a really difficult art to master but you will need it if you build ships 
But also, a lot of knowledge from building holes can go into, for example, fuselages for planes. That's quite similar. Yeah, that's better. And that should make this easier. Maybe we can make this a bit, a bit thinner. And add a bit more roundness to it. Which could help. Alright, but that doesn't work that well. Oh well, it does. It's fine. And we'll need to connect these two up. And a sort of compromise with holes also. That's a big thing about them too. Because sometimes things just don't work out, sometimes there just aren't blocks to fit a certain description, a certain situation and you need to make compromise and do things differently which is difficult especially when you're a new player and that's that, I filled that in now it has a way more round appearance, but it should be better and easier to hook up to that. Maybe we could do the tried and tested method of like gaps of like two or four blocks. I've done this on a lot of ships and it generally works although it may look quite jagged at some points but it's not bad and sometimes things like like this can look can add more character to the build. Sometimes that's good, but that's in quite isolated situations. And now, just a bit more of these. These are incredibly annoying to build, but they make stuff better, so they're not that bad. And link these up this will make stuff look way better and maybe even more like this and that's good add a one no two by far and that's linked up I think that's almost the same length as that is. So let's continue filling the hole in and continue with this. So fill the stern in and again with the time lapse.
and there we are with the stern done let's fill everything in and i think we'll be done because this is all i can do for today and yeah i think that's great it's great to be building a big ship again because last time i built a big ship was like what could have um maybe even a year ago which is brutal yeah i think a year ago was when i last built a ship that was big or maybe like seven months ago with the frigate so yeah i've been on a no big ship diet and i want to change that so that's why i'm building a big ship and also I got invited to collab with a really great builder and I can't miss out on that. So that's great that we have that. And maybe also I want to move just these for for things a couple of blocks back because it doesn't fit with the lineup here because there needs to be a gap here. And fill this in. Think that will be all for today. So quickly fill that in. And I've enjoyed this. I like building big ships. They're cool. And actually, people do seem to like big ships. So that's also cool or from what I've seen on the Discord server and yeah let's save that because saving is always important and I'm not going to be spawning it here like this I'm going to be spawning it in the ocean because things like data limit and I'm not sure and I don't think it's over data limit but whatever and yeah we have that. Also, before I go, I quickly want to add a helm in because one of the main fears I've had with bigger ships that are above like 80 meters or 90 meters is that I'm not going to be able to scroll far enough to see the whole ship. And I want to see if that's the truth for this. And nope, that's completely fine. So that's great. I might want to try and smoothen out this stuff. But I'm not going to be recording that. Because that's a tiny thing. And yeah. This was fun. And this is going to be a great project. So, see ya.